You know, fashion in our 50s can be a really confusing place. And that is really why I started my channel back in 2021. And today I'm going to show you five outfits that any of us in our 50s and beyond can wear that are casual, put together, comfortable, and can really take you almost anywhere. So if that sounds good to you, please keep watching. Hey y'all, I'm Serena. Thank you so much for stopping by. You know, I recently turned 53. And as a woman in her 50s, it can be a confusing place these days. I'm not ready to look like the Golden Girls, but I don't want to look like my daughters either. Plus, I happen to have a nine-year-old, almost 10-year-old son, so I don't want to be mistaken for his grandmother. I'm not ready for that yet. So how can we dress and look current and look appropriate, but not look like we're trying too hard? Well, I thought, okay, I'm 53. Who are some celebrities that are the same age as me? And some of these you may know, some may surprise you. Some of the female celebrities that are also 53 are Gwen Stefani, J-Lo, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Jennifer Aniston. Now, out of all these women, I think the style that I think I can relate to the most and I'm probably the most familiar with is Jennifer Aniston. She's been everywhere. Everybody loves her. Her style is very approachable and casual, but when she dresses up, she tends to do it in an understated kind of way. But she is just really good at putting together those outfits that looks like they're effortless, that she just pulled anything out of her closet and threw it on and it looks great. But I'll tell you that creating those effortless outfits actually takes a lot of effort. But I have picked five of her outfits and I'm going to recreate those in this video. This first look is very simple. It is a v-neck sweater with jeans and some booties. Now, I don't have the exact items she's wearing, obviously, but I tried my best to recreate this look. So for this first look, I'm wearing a v-neck sweater from Old Navy. My jeans are the OG straight leg jeans, also from Old Navy, and I'm wearing some black Chelsea boots. These happen to be by Blondo. I got them at Nordstrom. And this, I think, recreates her look pretty well. This is a casual everyday outfit that you could wear for anything really. And you look pulled together, I would just maybe add a black handbag, a shoulder bag of some sort, or even a crossbody would work. This is like about as simple as it gets, but it's just a nice way to look a step above joggers or leggings, but still very comfortable and very casual for your day. Most of the things that I'm gonna show in today's video are still available. So I will have those linked down in the description box. If you can't find the description box, try this. Underneath the video and the title, there will be the beginning of the description and then at the end of it, it cuts off and it has more with three dots. I've circled it here in yellow. Click on that and it will expand the description to reveal everything that's in there. And you'll probably have to scroll down and click more again, you know, to get to everything. But that is where I put my stats, height, weight, etc. And it's where I link everything that I show in my videos. So that will take you directly to the items that I'm showing in this video. So if you, you may be able to find a lot of these pieces in your own closet, but if you see something in today's video that you're interested in, this is how you find the links. In this next look, Jennifer is wearing this very chic but simple outfit consisting of dark wash flare leg jeans, a turtleneck or mock neck of some sort, and a cropped double-breasted jacket. Well, I don't have a cropped double-breasted jacket, but I do have this fitted double-breasted blazer. So here is the outfit that I created to mimic this. 
I have on a mock neck. It's a sleeveless mock neck from Walmart. These came in a two pack for I think less than $20. And I'm wearing them with my favorite Melissa flare leg jeans by Sofia Vergara. These are also from Walmart. And y'all, these are awesome jeans. They are so flattering and comfortable. Highly recommend. They do run long, so order a, the short size, which they do come in short. If you're under 5'5", five five, I would recommend that. But I think this does a really good job of mimicking that outfit. You've got the darker wash denim, you've got the mock neck, and then the fitted blazer. This blazer is one from Amazon. I'll be sure to link it below. I'll talk more about that in a minute. But here's just another really chic, elevated, casual look that Jennifer Aniston is known for. Just having that casually put together but very chic look. And this is an outfit that could really take you anywhere from a meeting to an appointment to a lunch out or evening, even a, an evening out depending on the accessories that you put with it. So just a very versatile but simple outfit that you may be able to recreate with items in your own wardrobe. But if you need any of these items in your wardrobe and don't have them, I will have everything linked down in the description below, just as I mentioned before. Hey, are you enjoying this video? If you are, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're new. I know there are a lot of you out there watching who are not subscribers, so what are you waiting for? It's free, and if you subscribe, that way you won't miss out on any of my content here on my YouTube channel, as well as on the community tab of YouTube. And while you're at it, check me out over on Instagram. I'm Style with Serena over there as well. I post daily over there on my Instagram stories, and I do reels from time to time too. Oftentimes you'll see things first, on Instagram before I have a chance to create a video and get it uploaded here on YouTube. So I do outfit ideas, I do the reels, I do sale alerts, little outfit collages, all kind of things I put together over on Instagram. So be sure to follow me there as well as on the Like to Know It app. That's where you can follow me and all your favorite influencers and shop all our looks all in one place with easy shoppable links. So Follow me over there on Instagram and the Like to Know It app. A couple of things about Jennifer Aniston's style. She loves neutrals. She wears a lot of denim, a lot of black, white, and olive green. And she mixes in brown too. So lots of neutrals, which really do extend your wardrobe and make everything very mix and matchable and easy to pull together different looking outfits. Another thing I've noticed about her is she loves a jacket whether it's a blazer like in the last outfit or a leather or faux leather moto jacket like this, you almost always see her in some kind of jacket. And that third piece of an outfit is really the piece that brings it all together, that ties a look, an outfit together and adds, adds that element of interest. And she does that really well. And in this next outfit, she's actually mixing three neutrals in this picture. She's mixing black, olive green, and brown. And that may sound kind of strange, but it works. And you'll see here in the outfit that I have recreated. So she had on a black crew neck tee. I opted to do more of a scoop neck. With the, This is actually a tank top from Target. And I'm wearing my Walmart faux leather scoop jacket that you've seen so many times. And then the pants, these are an olive green cargo or utility kind of pant. These are from White House Black Market. These are the Preta Petty pants. They have these every season in different colors and they are just a fantastic everyday kind of pant. You can uh, cuff them and snap up the bottoms for a cropped look. And then she was wearing this look with a brown belt and brown booties, which I have on as well. So the booties, are mine have a little bit of a stiletto heel, and that is the way her outfit was too. So you have this uh, juxtaposition of very casual with the moto jacket and the utility pants, but then it's jazzed up a little bit with a slightly more dressy booty. So this is three 
neutrals that we all probably have in our closet just put together in a different way and I really like the way this outfit looks this is something I would wear just about anywhere and of course you could do a long sleeve tee underneath if it was colder maybe a higher neck t-shirt or even a mock neck sweater or top underneath it for more warmth if you needed that but this is just a different take on neutrals mixing three different ones together all in one outfit so let me know what you think about it so in this next look jennifer is doing a very monochromatic look with black and gray and it's just another little kind of cropped jacket or blazer this one looks like it might be leather i can't tell but it's not a moto jacket style it looks more like a blazer style and then she's got on a black or dark gray top, knit top of some sort underneath. And then the jeans are skinnies and they look like they're either a washed black or a very dark gray. And then she's topping it off or rounding it out with the black heeled booties and a little black baguette kind of fag. My take on this outfit is similar with some adjustments based on what I have. The skinny jeans are very important to recreate this look. I did not have a pair of black skinny jeans or gray, so I went with a dark wash denim skinny jean. These are by Good American. And again, I pulled for that double-breasted blazer that you saw earlier in the video and this same scoop neck tank top from Target that you just saw. I added an, another belt. She has on a belt in this photo. I'm wearing a belt from Target that's black with a gold buckle and tucked it into my black faux suede stiletto heel booties by, by Scoop from Walmart. These are the same booties that you saw earlier in the video, only in black instead of brown. I have both colors. So I think this does a pretty decent job of recreating the look. And then I added my little black baguette bag that's also by Scoop at Walmart. And this really mimics the shape of the bag that she's carrying in that photo. And I think this is a pretty good dupe for, for her outfit using what I already had on hand. Be sure to let me know what your favorite outfit is in the comments section down below. And let me know if you will be recreating any of these outfits. Jennifer Aniston is the queen of white t-shirt and jeans. She's worn it a million different ways, and no matter how simple her outfit is, she looks like a million bucks. I like this white t-shirt and jean outfit because it was a little bit more interesting. It had a few more layers to it, so I decided to recreate this one. Here she's wearing a white t-shirt, some baggier jeans that are rolled at the bottom, some plain white sneakers, and she's got some kind of little kind of creamish or gray sweater tied around her waist. Now the jacket, I don't have anything exactly like this. Uh, this jacket looks like it may be kind of a bomber style jacket. and It's shorter, and that's a theme I'm seeing with her. She does tend to wear shorter jackets, and cropped or you know just below the waist. Like I said, I didn't have anything like this, so here is my best attempt to recreate. I'm wearing a basic white tee from Walmart. I got this one last summer for, I don't know, I know it's less than $10. And the jeans I'm wearing are a high-rise straight leg jean from Express. I love these jeans. They are such nice quality. I've been really impressed with them, and they're very comfy too. And I gave them a little roll at the bottom, and I put on my white plain white sneakers. These are by No Boundaries at Walmart. These are less than $20, so just a great deal for these plain white sneakers, and they're quite comfortable too. And the little sweater I tied around my waist is just one from J. Crew Factory that I've had. Honestly, I'm not sure that I like that look with the sweater tied around, not with this jacket anyway. This jacket is a knit blazer style jacket. This is by Caslon from Nordstrom and this has been a bestseller on my channel and I think these are still on sale. I know they were. They come in a bunch of different colors. But this is my attempt at this outfit. Just very casual, loose jeans, 
white sneakers, white t-shirt with a black jacket. It looks like she is holding a water bottle and some sort of hat in her hand. So you could top this off with a black or gray baseball cap or any kind of hat that you may have. And this is just a smart little, very casual running around outfit. But again, you notice that she likes to dress in these layers and that third piece is key to bring in the whole thing together. I've had a lot of fun doing this video and finding these pictures and trying to recreate the outfits with things I already had. Let me know what your favorite look was and let me know if you'd like to see uh, other videos like this where I'm recreating either Pinterest looks or celebrity looks or things like that and maybe I can make this a uh, part of my regular content here on my channel. Remember links to everything will be in the description box. Thank you so much for joining me, and until I see you next time, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.